Hey everyone, I am Ashley Overturf, Executive Leader in the Oil Lead Generations Group, and this is our third and final uh, video for the laundry series that we have been talking about. We've talked about uh, chemicals in our laundry, we've talked about uh, the Thieves laundry soap and how to hack that as well as a few DIYs with the stain remover and uh, our whitener, DIY whitener. Now we're going to talk about dryer sheets. Dryer sheets, oh my goodness, those are full of toxic chemicals that get on our clothes, get on in our uh, dryer drum and cling to all sorts of clothes, get on us, we smell it as it, the, the fragrance as it um, dries, and it can be very, very harmful. So we've already talked about fragrance and how harmful fragrance is, and it is in our dryer sheets, and ultimately that's what we're using our dryer sheets for, to allow our, uh, our clothes to smell good and also for static issues. Um, so there are many, many chemicals in those dryer sheets, but I'm going to name a few like benzyl um, alcohol, which causes headaches, vomiting, and can really disrupt the nervous system. And in some cases, I researched it said that there could be even like death due to long exposure to uh, that chemical. And then the other chemical that I saw too was chloroform, which we all know is a hazardous waste. And um, it, it is actually used, if y'all have seen in the movies, but it's also used as a recreational drug to knock people out. I mean, completely knock people out. And you've seen it in the movies where somebody comes up and tries to kidnap um, people and they use chloroform to knock them out, right? And that is in our dryer sheets, okay? And there are a ton more. You can go looking, you can look up ingredients in dryer sheets and if you have a particular brand that you want to look up, you can look up at that particular brand and see all the ingredients in there and then take each individual in ingredient and do the dangers of and Google it. Oh my goodness, how dangerous those are. Not only that, one of my members, I think it was about a year or so ago, um, was telling me a story that her dryer was just not working properly. And um, she called somebody to come and check it out, fix it. And he asked her if she used dryer sheets. And she said, well, yeah, I use dryer sheets. And he said, that's your issue. Um, the dryer sheets actually have some kind of plastic-like material in it. And it gets on the coating of your lint catcher. And it can prevent your dryer from drying properly. So basically, he took the, the lint um, catch her out and ran water over it after, of course, after he cleaned it, um, cleaned the lint off and there was, water was not going through it. And you know, your, your air is supposed to go through it. So she decided to take her thieves cleaner and clean it really good. And she switched to dryer balls. Okay. These are great. They're 100%, um, wool. You can get these at Amazon. I actually got mine through Young Living because they were having like a promo several years ago. And so I ordered quite a few because um, uh, they, um, they were on special for Christmas. And so I, I used them as, as Christmas gifts. And um, But um, the first batch that I've used lasted me about 18 months maybe a little longer, and we have a pretty big size family, and we dry a lot of clothes, so um, what we use to give our um, clothes some smelling good is we use lavender, which we love lavender because of the calming smell, or we'll use 
purification, which is great. I really like this one on um, like towels or um, even some of, I'll even put it like in the actual uh, washing machine. Like when my husband has like really s stinky socks because he sweats all day or if the kids have gotten into something like really nasty, then I'll add a couple extra drops to the laundry with this. But those are some, and I know some people, they use um, Citrus Fresh. That is another great one to use as well on your dryer balls. So, and you can also make your own dryer balls. You can get 100% uh, wool yarn and roll it up in a ball, a ball of yarn, and then tuck the yarn in real tight. You can Google it to see exactly how to do it. Um, but a lot of a lot of people will do that too. So, but these are like, I mean, when you buy them, they last forever, for freaking ever. So, toss the dryer sheets, toss the liquid um, fabric softener, and get you some dryer balls and save yourself some time, okay? Also, before you use your dryer balls, clean out your lint, take your thieves cleaner, and do a good scrubbing on your lint catcher and um and then you're good to go and you'll have a brand new dryer all right i hope y'all enjoyed my laundry series uh, if you have any questions shoot me a, a message at the bottom all right y'all have a great day bye